Good morning, everyone. All of you are fine, I think. So today I'll discuss uh, about one activity, maths activity, that will take from chapter one, relations and functions. Let's see the activity, how to do the activities. Okay. The topic is uh, activity one. Topic is it is taken from relation and separation is relations functions. What are the objective of this activity? What we'll do? To verify, to verify, to verify that the relation R in the set L of all lines in a plane defined by R, defined by R in which way the relation is defined, that lines L is perpendicular to M, L is perpendicular to M, where L and M are belongs to the set L. It is symmetric. We have to verify it. It is symmetric, but neither reflexive nor transitive this is our objectives okay so for activities first you have to write the topic then you have to write the objective what we have to do and for this activity what prerequisite knowledge we need that also you have to write what prerequisite knowledge we need since this is a related with the relation topics relation so we need to the knowledge of relation what is the knowledge of relation prerequisite pre knowledge? A relation R on the set A is will say reflexive if and only if for all A belongs to the set A, A comma A belongs to A, or we can say the element A is related to itself. Symmetric if and only if A comma B belongs to R, if and only if A comma B belongs to R is if A is related to B, and it implies that B is also related to A. That we have knowledge we need to do. Transitive, if A is related to B, A is related to B, B is related to C, then A must be related to C. That this prerequisite knowledge we have to keep in our mind. And for this activity, what materials we need? We need one. White paper, a four size paper, then we need this is sketch pen. We need glue. Okay, these materials we need. And another thing is ruler. This materials we need. So material required: a white paper, a sketch pen, ruler, and glue, etc. And more things maybe you can use for your work. Okay, that is depend on you, which way you are doing. Now procedure. What procedure we have to do? Let's see. In case of procedure, what we'll do? In this white paper, we have to draw some lines. We have to draw some lines randomly with the help of the sketch pen. In this white paper, we have to draw some lines randomly with the help of the sketch pen ruler. Okay, the lines must be the lines uh, must be what parallel lines, perpendicular lines, and some of them are slanting to each other. In this way, let's let's do the work. Uh, let's try once in which you will draw. Okay, let's see. Okay, I have drawn this way. The lines, can you? What's this one? Is it clear to you? I have taken eight lines in this paper, and I have drawn these eight lines in this way. That L1 is perpendicular to L2. L1 is also perpendicular to L3. L1 is perpendicular to L4. Okay. Again, what? L6 is perpendicular to L7. L1 is perpendicular to L2. This L1 is perpendicular to L2. This is perpendicular. This is perpendicular, this is perpendicular. Okay. Again, L6 is perpendicular to L7, L6 is perpendicular to L7. And what? L2 is parallel to L3, L3 is parallel to L4, again L5 is parallel to L8. 
Okay, clear. In this way, yeah? done. So, in which way we will write the procedure? In the procedure, we will write what? On this white paper, on the white paper. Draw the lines. L1, L2, L3, dot 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 L8. I have drawn L8. Eight lines I have drawn. Okay? Randomly. Where? Number one, what you can say? L1 is perpendicular to L2. L1 is perpendicular to L3. L1 is perpendicular to L4. Anything more? Uh, L6 is perpendicular to L7. Okay? Clear? Number 2. L2 is parallel to L3. L3 is parallel to L4. L3 is parallel to L4. Then L5 is parallel to L5 is parallel to L8. Now according to the definition or objective, according to the definition, one more thing what we can say. All the lines are perpendicular and they belongs to the relation. What are the lines? That is L1, L2, L1, L3, L1, L4, L1, L6, L7. This belongs to R. Okay? This is the procedure. We have done this one. Now observation. That three observations you have to do. What are the observations? That is one is reflexive, reflexive, another is symmetric, another is transitive, transitive. These three things we have to observe. Okay, because that is our objective to observe the things. Let's see. Observe observations. So how do I observation? Observations. Number one in figure. In figure. In case of reflexive means what? The element should be related to itself. Here the what are the relation? L1 L comma M such that L is perpendicular to M. Where L comma M belongs to capital L in the set of lines. Now we have to see, is it L1 is perpendicular to L1? Is it L1 is perpendicular to L1? Never. L2 is not perpendicular to itself. L3 is not perpendicular to itself. L4 also not perpendicular to itself. So we will get not a single line, not a single line is perpendicular to itself. Okay. So in figure what we get? In figure L1 is not perpendicular to L2. L2 is not perpendicular to L3, etc. So what we can say? Not a single line, single line is perpendicular to perpendicular to itself. So therefore, R that relation L comma M such that L is perpendicular to M is not reflex. Is not reflexive. Okay. Next, next observation. What? Let's see the next observation. Number two, in figure, we will search the two lines. That is, L1 is perpendicular to L2. Clear? If L1 is perpendicular to L2, L1 is perpendicular to L2. That means what? L2 is also perpendicular to L1. It implies. L2 is perpendicular to L1. So from what you can say, if L1 comma L2 belongs to R, it implies L2 comma L1 belongs to R. Similarly, L1 is perpendicular to L3, it implies L3 is perpendicular to L1, it implies L1 comma L3 belongs to R, it implies L3 comma L1 belongs to R. 
Similar L L1 parallel to L4. L4 is also parallel to L1. Means what? That is we can write here that is that is we can write okay. That is L1 comma L4 belongs to R. It implies L4 comma L1 belongs to R. One more thing is there, I think. Uh, L6 and L7. L6 is perpendicular to L6 is perpendicular to L7. It implies L7 is perpendicular to L6. L7 is perpendicular to L6. So what you can say? That is L6 comma L7 belongs to R. It implies L7 comma L6 belongs to R. So in case of symmetry, if a comma b belongs to R, it implies b comma a must be belongs to R. Then it is symmetric. That property holds good here. So what you can say? Therefore, R is equal to L comma m such that L perpendicular to m is symmetric. Okay. And last one, we'll see. Is it clear? So in this, we have to write. Last one. Last one observation C number three in figure model gate. We have to find out the link. C L2 comma L2 is perpendicular to L1. Is it or not? L2 is perpendicular to L1. Okay. Then L1 is L1 is perpendicular to we can say L2 is perpendicular to L1 and L1 is perpendicular to L3. L2 is perpendicular to L1. L1 is that is last first and last that should be same. L1 should like L1. L2 is perpendicular to L1. L1 is perpendicular to L3. If L1 is perpendicular to L2 and L2 is perpendicular to L1 and L1 is perpendicular to L3. Can we say that L2, L2 and L3 are perpendicular? Can you say in the diagram? Never. But L2 is not perpendicular to L3. That is what? L2, L1 belongs to R and L1, L3 belongs to R. It implies what? L2, L3 does not belong to R. So R is equal to L, M such that L is perpendicular to M is not transit. Okay? Clear? So this observations you have to write. What we observe from the figure. So first one is reflexive, then transitive, uh, then symmetric. Last one is transitive. Okay. Now last point we have to write what applications. What applications? So what we can apply with the help of this? We can check. We can apply this one. We can apply this to check the relation as relation is equivalence or not ok do you understand I think do you understand if look, any doubt you call me and give the comments in my comment box that uh, then I'll help you for this clear your doubts okay so you do this activity at home you can take more lines in practice and write thank you have a nice day